Throughout the many decades, human beings have been contacting one another on the internet, whether it's been through various image boards or social media apps or what have you. There have always been a set of rules everyone on the internet has to follow. Now, while these rules in question have not been set in stone, Everyone on the internet, to an extent, has followed these rules as best as they can. Now, much like how it is in the real world, internet rules can be broken. You do have a couple of uh, wild cards out there that seem to have no problem breaking these rules whenever it suits their means or their narrative or whatever. Certain rules, uh, for example, are... You know, don't get family members involved in your new internet beef. Don't be doxing people. Don't be swatting people. Don't be false flagging people. Once you block someone on the internet, you no longer have the right to talk shit about them. Etc, etc, etc. But as I've stated, there are a few wild cards out there that will seemingly have no problem breaking these here rules to support their narrative or whatever. And one of these people out there is, of course, our, our new friend, Mr. Trippy Poop. Now, I know what you're thinking, oh, wow, Mr. What has Trippy Poop done this time? Well, it uh, turns out Mr. Trippy Poop is pulling a, a mundane mat. And has decided to flag yours truly on Twitter. Now, the tweet itself did not contain any personal information about Trippy. Even though I posted a picture of his mom. He did not flag that tweet. It was simply a tweet of me saying I honestly am surprised someone like AP would give Trippy Poop a man who showed his penis to a, a gay man in a fit of rage, a thousand dollars. And as a result of Trippy Poop flagging that, I'm now t in Twitter jail for the next 12 hours. I tried appealing the tweet in question, and after about four hours, I just said, fuck it, I'm just gonna delete it, and well, I'm currently still awaiting for me to get released from Twitter jail. I wager by the time I wake up after going to bed, I'm going to be back on Twitter. And once I do, uh, you better believe I'm going to be putting Trippy Poop on blast. But thankfully for me, uh, a very special man out there, uh, a man by the name of uh, Donga Poop, Donga Poop has taken the uh, the liberty of uh, showing the internet just what uh, Trippy Poop's been up to. Because uh, Trippy Poop, he really has no problem admitting that he's a false flagger. I mean, it took minutes for the Killstream guys, you know, back when, you know, the Killstream was good. It took him quite a while for Monday Matt to openly admit that he false flagged a bunch of people. That said mean words to him on the internet. But Trippy Poop, he really doesn't give a shit. And he openly admitted it to a man by the name of Three Force Yuna. So when that Trippy Poop has had beef with in the past. And someone that Trippy Poop has flanked previously before. Now Mr. Uh, Donga Poop. The Donkster. Was uh, kind enough. To share what uh, screenshots I got of me. Uh, getting put in Twitter jail, plus the little uh, conversation three fourths Yoda had with uh, Trippy, where Trippy openly admits that uh, he likes flagging people that hurt his feelings. <laughs> now, what you can think of Mr. Donga Poop is uh, a good friend of mine, similar to how Quarantine Coof is uh, a good friend of Mr. Mediger. Now, don't worry, though, a link to that tweet in question is going to be in the description below. So if you guys want to take a nice little look at uh, just what Mr. Trippy Poop's thoughts on flagging people are, go right ahead and look at him. 
Now, am I really surprised that true people do this to me? No. Because it just proves my point that through all this fucking talk and all of this bravado of him trying to present himself as some edge lord that doesn't get triggered easily, he kind of proved to me that he is indeed a triggered little bitch. That when you put enough pressure on Trippy Poop, when you're constantly calling him Tonkazo 2.0, when you're openly saying that he's a pathetic little man, how he's 34 years old and he still needs his mom to go buy him cigarettes, how he can't ride in a car without his mommy, otherwise he might get stabbed, and other ridiculous shit like that. When you put enough pressure on someone like Trippy Poop, eventually they're gonna have enough and they're gonna fucking break. Now Trippy Poop doesn't want to admit that I broke him. But the evidence is, uh, it is really saying something. So, uh, yeah. In conclusion, as much as Trippy Poop likes to pretend he's a, a big internet tough guy, he's really nothing more than a salty bitch. And when you put enough pressure on him, he's eventually gonna lash out and flag your ass. Just to shut you up. But you ain't shut me up easily, dear Trippy. In fact, now... Now that you flagged me, it's just gonna get worse for you. Because as soon as I'm back on Twitter, a lot more people are gonna learn about what faggotry you've been up to. And you thought my ass was a pain to deal with? Just imagine what it's gonna be like having to do deal with two or three or four or ten, maybe even 25 people giving you shit for what you've done. But hey, buddy. You got no one to blame but yourself. You could have just fucking blocked me and walked away. I would have said what I would have said and then I would have eventually gotten bored with you. And moved on to someone else. But you wanted to be the big internet cuff guy. You wanted to be the big shit poster. You wanted to be the next Danny Jim. You wanted to be the next AP. And now here you are. The Juggalo Monday, Matt. And again, you've got no one to blame but yourself.